Hey guys, Slotdance here, and welcome back to our wolf fight. We're gonna give the piggies a try today. Okay, after failing to thrive in a highly competitive residential demolition industry, mostly due to difficulties dealing with brick construction, Big Bad Wolf decided it is time for a career change. Unable to resist the lure of entrepreneurship, he decided to enter the restaurant business. Three little pigs dissatisfied with their free sample demolitions are conspiring against the Big Black Wolf and his new restaurant, The Wolf's Bite. The whole village turned out for the grand opening. Will the Big Bad Wolf finally launch a successful enterprise, or will the three little pigs throw up a metaphorical brick wall to stop him? Okay. Um, there are a few places that we really didn't do much of last time, so let's try the Witch's Hut. I'm going to put a hex on the wolf. Well, no longer wicked per se, the witch still gets a kick out of magical pranks like hexes. Your gold as well. Gold. Be careful though, magic is capricious and can backfire. Wolf's white loses one quality, wolf loses one reputation, while the pigs lose one wealth. That's fair. One of the witch's particular specialties is a clumsiness curse she invented herself. Ooh. If you can convince her to put the curse on the servers at the wolf's bite, customers will have soup in their laps in no time. However, the witch requires a special ingredient, a red mushroom from the Whispering Woods. You've already gone to the trouble to find the mushroom patch, but you're having trouble figuring out which red mushroom she needs. If only she were more specific. Grab the spotted one, present the shiny one, the lumpy one. Let's get the lumpy one. Pigs were drawn irresistibly to an old lumpy fungus that did not look like, didn't even look like a mushroom. The smell was so intoxicating the pigs actually got into a fight over who was going to pick it. Eventually, pushes come to shove and hooves start flying. Pigs end up trampling the mushroom patch, completely ruining year, this year's exotic mushroom harvest for the entire village. Oh no. Pigs lose one reputation. That was not the right answer. Alright, where are you going, Wolfie? Neighborhood Watch. Okay. Domesticated wolves are the original watchdogs. While crime is generally rare in the city, the citizens can sleep a little more soundly knowing you are standing vigilant and protecting them. Wolf gains one reputation. Find a rat's nest under an abandoned house while making your rounds through the neighborhood. Fortunately, these are just common rats that don't have any personality. Fortunately, they seem to be breeding rapidly and are high risk of carrying disease in the neighborhood. As the de facto leader of the neighborhood, dealing with this falls on you. Surely enough, it does not appear anyone noticed the nest besides you. Use rats in the restaurant? An issue looks like a public health hazard has high potential as a renewable source of free protein. Ah! Sure, it won't have the same panache as filet mignon, but the margins on free ingredients are much larger. Oh no. All you need is clever marketing to make sure people buy it. Wolf gains four wealth, most white loses one quality. That's disgusting. Famous food critic coming to town. Uh, Gus Fury has caught wind of the intrigue surrounding the wolf spite and would like to feature it on his show, Restaurants, Tappers, and Bars. Will the episode be about redemption or revenge? Only time will tell. Alright, what else did we not really do? We didn't do go to the lake. Um, honestly, I think I want to go to City Hall. Let us volunteer at City Hall. Let's get our reputation. So don't you catch more flies with honey. By volunteering at City Hall, you can trade a few hours of time building rapport with various people, ultimately adding credibility to your future attacks on the wolf's way. After all, who wouldn't trust the guy who willingly picks up litter and fixes those pesky potholes? No charge. Pigs gain one reputation. As long as you're near the office, you might as well report the wolf spite for some sort of illegal activity. Wolf has got to be doing something wrong, right? What better way to throw a wrench in his plans than a visit from the government? But with so many delightful felonies to choose from, how does a pig decide? For unlicensed demolition, report him for lack of hygiene, report him for tax fraud, lack of hygiene, I mean, especially with those rats? 
leapt into his girmobile and sped off to inspect the wolf's bite. To your dismay, the kitchen was immaculate, as always. The wolf always took great pride in the cleanliness of his kitchen, and even when you sabotaged it, he always made sure to clean it right after. The next time, plant some actual dirt on him. It's a penalty for fine of use. One left, one under. Oh, man. He is using rat meat. Come on. hanging around the neighborhood a lot. Bringing good food to good people who cannot get it themselves is just good business. Line up there, strengthen your standing in the community, and will ultimately draw in more customers. This makes sense, and sense. Gains one protection and one quality. I don't know if we're going to win this one. Surprise cold snap has caused a blizzard in the village. Nobody, even the Department of Public Works, is prepared to deal with such an event as it has not snowed in years. Time doesn't even have a plow. Bad roads means people will stay home, and if they stay home, they won't eat at your restaurant. You need to do something right away. Free delivery. You already have a delivery vehicle for th philanthropic purposes. Why not amend your business model for the day and serve a new need? Strategically limited menu and carefully mapped out routes, you manage to keep up with demand and turn tidy profit at the same time. It's for wow, guys, like he is really kicking our butts right now. Wolf serves up delightful first course. Turns out the wolf wasn't just blowing hot air when he talked about his new restaurant. Notice why early reviews from open diners have been positive. Alright, we really need to sabotage him, like, a lot. Let's work in the restaurant. He spent the day working in the restaurant trying to bring it down from within. The new hiring manager was thrilled as she was able to fill three open spots so quickly. From messing up orders to dropping trays of food on patrons, you ensure each customer's first visit to the Wolf's Bite and also their last. Poor hiring manager had no idea she, what she was getting herself into. Wolf's Bite loses one quality. Count Dracula, also recently reformed, uh, is at the restaurant. This VIP is a perfect opportunity to sabotage as it may not only ruin it the evening, but it may land the wolf a fine from the health inspector for endangering patrons. Knowing what you know about vampires, how do you want to go after this one? Garlic and the mashed potatoes, glass of holy water, wooden steak. Let's go for the holy water. Tasteless, odorous, and poisonous to a vampire. Pigs even sprinkle a little extra salt on everything the count eats to help motivate him to drink water. Hey, my mouth, it burns! Help, help! Ah, my throat burnt too. Call a doctor and my lawyer. Yes. Wolf loses one wealth and the wolf loses one quality. All right, that was pretty good. We did get that time. We need to boost our own reputation too, though. All right, he's going to the lobby. Small businesses like the Wolf Bite are the backbone of any thriving community and its economy. You spend the day using your charm and political savvy networking with city councilman and the mayor himself. You may not impact legislation, but it might snag you a few more catering gigs. The Wolf gains one reputation. Wolf's gain gains one. Uh, to the excitement of the entire town, the Emperor has arrived for his annual visit, fully clothed this time, of course. <laughs> Being an avid foodie, he demands a sample of the finest cuisine this town has to offer. You graciously volunteer your best dish for him to analyze. But what do you serve a man of such discerning taste? Okay. Uh, with your training, this delicate French dish is mere child's play. Massively combining the ingredients into the perfect concoction. And it would appear the Emperor agrees. After taking the first bite, a single tear rolls down his cheek. Magnifique, he whispers. Warns run reputation and one quality. Turn it. Uh, wolf Spite gets better with every bite. Or the spreading of the culinary visionary, the Wolf Spite, with new recipes being introduced by the day. There seems to be no end to the Wolf's culinary cutting just three days into his career, and he's already one of the hottest restaurants in the kingdom. Guys, we are not doing well. Alright, let's try the barn. Uh, let's enter the dance competition. And the 3 LP crew has the sickest moves this side of the Green River. Blair's windmills, suicide flips, can't keep up with the triple pig, shuffle, snout, spins, and pork bombs. 
Those suckers got served. Thanks. Gain one reputation, one wealth. Bouncers don't like the pig's reputation for causing trouble. In the spirit of compromise, however, they are willing to let the let two stay if one leaves, figuring they'll behave if they aren't together. Which pig should be sent home? We're all leaving. Send Sergei home. Send Binky home. Let's send Binky home. Me? Seriously? You guys suck. Binky stormed off. The night was pretty low-key. Neither Sergei nor Stinky ended up uh, instigating or making mischief, leading to an uneventful evening. At least that's what it seemed like until they got home. Binky! What the heck? Formerly seething swine was fast asleep amongst the remains of the living room wearing his wolf costume. The pig's loose one look, cleaning things up. Okay. Mm can't run a restaurant without things to cook. A trip to the store provides you with all the ingredients you'll need to cook up enough food to feed an army. You even manage to negotiate a discount. Most bike gains one quality. Fortunately, your usual specialty merchant is out of some essentials, and you have to add them to your routine store trip. As you turn down the alley, you spot Jean Garcia, private chef to the mayor. You all guys, as the realization strikes you, you both that there is only one jar of snap pepper left on the shelf and you are both planning on preparing snap dumplings this evening. Curses. Gina is half a step faster and has the jar. What do you do? Offer a recipe? Jean, Jean, Jean. My dearest Jean. As you can see, there is but one jar of snap pepper left and we both need it. What have I offered to teach you one of my secret recipes in exchange for the snap pepper? presumptuous puppy. Jean Garcia does not need your recipe, for he, oh, Jean, got it, has also been trained by Pierre Cipriani. Good day to you, sir. I'm keeping the snap pepper. Loses two reputation. Good. Okay, that, that helped us. Alright, guys, I'm gonna take a break here. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Like, comment, and subscribe. You can subscribe by clicking the adorable sloth at the bottom of your screen.